Right, welcome back. In the last lesson, we mentioned how the internet works and we focused in more detail on how the client computer and the server where the domain name or the website resides and how they communicate together. We mentioned uh, the two functions, get and post, very briefly. And uh, now, in this lesson, we're going to look at the application side on the server. You'll see two acronyms uh, quite often. Well, you'll see the WAMP and uh, LAMP and WAMP. Now, uh, LAMP uh, is an acronym for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Now, Linux is a very popular um, open source operating system. Just like you've got um, Windows on your computers, if you've got Windows, and Linux is just a just an oper operating system. So we're going to put operating system here. Apache is a very popular open source uh, web um, application server. And what uh, Apache is used for is to process the scripts such as the PHP and so on and it's, it uses to transfer into the HTML. Just like I mentioned in the last video uh, with the GET um, request, it takes the, the whole search query and on the fly it will convert it into HTML which is then viewable on the client's computer. So here we're just going to say application server. Okay, MySQL is an open source database. Now, a database is used to store the data, and any application of any size um, requires a database to store the user's information and, and so on. It depends on the application and, and the purpose of it and so on. So, MySQL is a database, and PHP like I mentioned is a scripting language where you actually write all the, the applications code and so on uh, it's a programming language okay but it's used for web-based applications so we're gonna put here um, script scripting language okay now that's in summary what LAMP stands for it's a, a framework a common framework uh, used to uh, develop web applications or serve the application and so on. So you got Linux, you got Apache, you got MySQL, and you got PHP. Now WAMP is simply very much the same, except instead of Linux, they use Windows. So Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Now that's particularly that that's just all the lesson in in a, in a nutshell. In the next lesson, we'll look at the applications that you will need, or I would recommend to you, uh, to develop uh, and to continue with learning on this course. Before we go into the computer side and doing hands-on training,